Hey, how's it going guys? Today I have you guys a specialized Tarmac S-Rex SL6, custom painted with a one by 11 drivetrain, weighing in at 13 pounds, 13 ounces, in a size 56. And in kilos, 6.26 kilos. Stay tuned to after the video, we're here, free up by sent us on those Revolve CLX 64s right there. Thank you guys. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys this beautifully painted, custom Tarmac SL6 S-Works frame set uh, that was actually painted by a company called I believe Tech, Technar, which I'll I'll, uh, I'll post their Instagram and the link down below. But uh, this was one of our uh, our past customers, and then also the guy Chris Siglanski. Uh, I'll, I'll link his YouTube channel as well. He was the one who built it up everything like that. But the bike came out phenomenal. As you guys just saw, it's 13 pounds, 13 ounces. It's a full 56 Tarmac SL6 rim brake with a one by setup. I'll go over the whole configuration. But the red paint job on here looks absolutely insane. The subtle decals with the the white, the stardust on there looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so this red too, the wine red, the burgundy red, it looks gorgeous in the sunlight. But I'm gonna go over the whole bike, show you guys the specs and configurations, and uh, yeah, we'll start off with there. So starting off with the top, we have on here the Specialized Aerofly uh, Generation 1. It's a 42 centimeter handlebar. And then on here we have the SRAM ETAP 11 speed rim brake. So it is electronic, but it is a rim brake version, so that's why the hoods aren't protruding as much. The tape they chose to use on here is the SuperCaz Galaxy White. So it's the black Super Cape, uh, SuperCaz tape with the white little star decals on there as well. Looks phenomenal. Stem he's rocking on there is the S-Works stem. It's a 130 millimeter stem, negative six degrees with titanium bolts on there. And then we have a little custom stem cap on there with a red anodized stem bolt and that kind of gloss carbon fiber on there. Very good looking. Anything that's S-Works on the stem is always gonna have a titanium bolt here and titanium bolts there. For the brakes, it did the EE Cycle Works brakes, direct mount for the SL6. One of the lightest uh, brake calipers out there that you can get right now for rim brakes. Uh, they work phenomenally, they're easy to adjust, um, good stopping power as well, but if you want super, super lightweight brakes, this is what I recommend. They're just really expensive. I think for the set, I think for one of them it's $500 per brake. So you're gonna be dishing out about $750 to $1,000 for the set. So crazy, crazy expensive. Wheels on the front is the Roval CLX 64 rim brake. Uh, they are tubeless ready. They have ceramic speed bearings inside. It is a Roval front hub. They also have on here a front custom skewer, the red to match the paint as well. So that looks good. Actually, looks really, really nice. Tires are on here are the 700 by 26 cotton tires. They are running tubes inside here. You could probably put a latex tube in there to make it a little bit lighter. There are some things that you can do on here to make this bike a little bit lighter. Um, but uh, yeah. Paint job again, gorgeous. It has like these two little white stripes up there. You can see the detail on the paint, the sparkles in there. It's a nice white S-Works logo. Just very simple and clean. Because this is a Tarmac SL6 S-Works, it was a 12R frame. And the original color of this frame was actually the chameleon green color. So um, just so you guys know. These crank arms were first generation S-Works cranks, but he actually, the, the gentleman who owns the bike, uh, I'll, I'll tag his Instagram page on there as well uh, for what he has, but he, he actually, uh, he, he owns like a body shop. He actually uh, took these cranks, sanded them down and painted this kind of rainbow color on there, which looks really good. Chainring is a, what is it, 54 tooth? 54 tooth carbon fiber chainring. Um, and then also you have the Ceramic Speed 130 BCD Spider as well. Bottom bracket in there is a BB30 or OSB B30 uh, Ceramic Speed bottom bracket. It is not uh, threaded, so it's just a regular OSBB in there as well. You have the S-Works carbon fiber, I'm sorry, the S-Works water ball cages, S-Works water ball cages, and then you have your front braze on if you ever want to run a front driller as well. You have the drop seat stays, the EE Psych Works rear brake as well, and then you have this carbon fiber plate that goes to help mount, so that when you're actually clamping down power, it doesn't flex between the frame, which is nice. It is a gold KMC chain, 11 speed, the rear cassette is an 1126, it looks like. 1126 SRAM red uh, cassette. And then a SRAM uh, ETAP Axis 11 speed rear derailleur with the ceramic speed OSPW added as well. The gold with the red, with the white, with the cotton tires, it looks phenomenal. Very good. CLX64 rear wheels, ceramic speed, and the hubs. And I believe it's a 54 tooth ratchet. Yeah, 54 tooth ratchet, which will have a free body sound test uh, after the video. And then again, the Turbo Cotton 700 by 26 tires. Seat post is a proprietary S-Works SL6 seat post with an integrated wedge right here that you use a four millimeter to do on. And then the saddle he chose is going to be the S-Works Phenom saddle 
carbon rails, carbon body. Uh, nice wide cutout for the uh, blood flow as well. But the bike looks great. I mean, even the cable routing here. The cable routing for the rear brake, perfect clearance in there. The brakes feel phenomenal. You have the custom rear through axle as well. And then the bottom bracket, you can see is not threaded either. But yeah, really good job by the guys at Technar. Uh, I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna link their Instagram on that. They put it on, their, on the paint job. But I'll link their Instagram so that way you guys can check out their paint job and stuff like that. I think they do custom paint jobs for bikes as well, so you can contact them, contact them directly. And if you guys are wondering, this port will be for if you had a mechanical disc brake setup. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm just gonna do like a quick little montage video of it, and it'll be at the end. And yeah, I appreciate it. Bye. All right, guys, here comes the Revol CLX 64 rear wheel with a free up by sound test right now. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.